Smithley through the grass. Spencer Gallagher gets a piece of it. Saber towards the front. There's Spencer Gallagher with some. Let's mix it up a little bit. Let's see a caution. Let, let, let these guys try to have another perfect restart. At this point, Joey Logano, they've told him that the 19 car spun, and he's mad now. He doesn't even know how he spun or what happened, but he's he's mad at, at, uh, at Tift right now, even though it wasn't his fault. Maybe he just slipped up a little bit on exit. You can see. This is one of those tracks when you get too high, the track's actually dirty. Um, there's a, at, a, at a place like Atlanta, the higher you get, it just it just has grit of having a good day no matter where. Well, Elliot Sadler had the early contact, made a pitch stop at lap nine, dropped back to 30th, drove to 14th. Now he's 28th, and here we go. Trouble on the track. Five laps to go, stage one, and the big one heading to turn three at Talladega. Yeah, and it looked like Brennan just came up to try to get side draft. And, and, and a lot of times what happens is the, the guy in the middle comes up to side draft, the guy on the top comes down to side draft, and next thing you know, they make a little bit of contact, and, and there they go. 42 is Tyler Reddick, a rookie, spinning on the apron. Daniel Suarez and Spencer Gallagher around. Caution number six. All right, buddy, show contact. Gather it up and come on if you can get her going. That's spotted. Yeah, it's been threatening that all day. Finally found the bumper up. A little bit of contact you can see on the right rear there. That was spotter Keith Barnwell giving some encouragement, but uh, Spencer. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. 52 of Joey Gase has hit the wall hard. Yes, he has. Hard. We're seeing the red flag. Way off top right of your screen. Yeah. That has the look of couple guys racing into the corner. I don't know what, 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 what could have happened, but it looked like they were just both coming into the turn and, and around goes Gase. You can see backs into the wall and hits yeah. with the left side. Yeah, Spencer Gallagher just was trying to get high to get away from Joey Gase in the 52. Gallagher won top 10 this year. Got it at Richmond and has a teammate second week in a row that been... Seventh time tonight. Ah, there it is. Spencer Gallagher. I got Kyle Benjamin. You got Spencer Gallagher. I was talking about how great Benjamin was doing. Regan added his thoughts. He spins and ends his night for the most part. And, and here's Gallagher. Well, we can't go to the replay of caution number seven. Looks like Spencer just lost it on his own up on the top side there. Maybe uh, jumped the cushion just a little bit, possibly. I don't know. It looked like maybe the 16 of Ryan Reed was in the proximity with a 23 car. Couldn't tell if there was any contact or not. Well, I swore there was contact earlier. And Regan Smith. When you come here, you have to run. Oh, you see the 23 out of control up the racetrack, trying to save it. The double zero of Custer really has nowhere to go. The 16 of Ryan Reed, very, very lucky. We're only four minutes into practice. We already see two cars torn up. The double zero, you know, at a downforce track, maybe you can make the argument you could you could work on the fender and have time. But here at Daytona, aerodynamics so important. There's going to be no chance for that car. They're going to have to go to a backup. And, and this is what we talked about. How much are you going to gain by running in a group versus the risk of getting in a wreck? So, you know, Cole Custer, he was really back there. He wasn't a big pack. He was in a, what you would think was a safe spot. And, you know, certainly there was nothing that, that Spencer Gallagher would do. The obviously, the left rear tire was down. Oh, hard into the wall goes to 33. He collects the five of Mike Lynette. Caution you. comes out. This is just pushing, 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 trying to get that run, pushing Eric Jones in front of him, who's into the rear bumper of Ryan Reed. And basically the push just gets too much. Justin Allgaier pushes the back of Brandon Jones. He gets into the outside wall, and from there it's a chain reaction. And you may say, well, why does Justin Allgaier get in there and push when, you know, the line in front of you is getting stacked up because you can't see. You have no idea what's going on two cars in front of you. So Justin Algar, he just... See the wreck almost come back to the camera there. So they slowed way down. Wow, look at the 23 car there on the bottom, you know, going through the grass. As they come to the out, the overtime line. Oh, and wrecking behind them. The field, did they get to the overtime line before the caution came out? That will be the question. Don't let them get to you. Throwing the caution is a no-brainer here. 
Well, we saw with Eric Amarola with his injury at Kansas that the assumption of any sort of injury is, is a mistake. Anytime you have any sort of contact like that, NASCAR has to assume they need to dispatch safety vehicles, not to mention the debris on the racetrack. The time going up through the pack as we see Ryan Sieg, and I think that's Gallagher on the 23, the 39, uh, just gets in the right rear quarter panel of the 23. Did the 39 get the wall a little bit before, like with the right rear and then move down and get into the 23 first? I thought I saw the, the 39 move a little bit in an odd way. It's been a rough day for the 39. He had to go to the back. Seen it. Don't know what comes first. That's right. Which comes first, whether it was uh, into the wall or whether he cut a tire and got into the outside wall, but pretty heavy contact as you see the right front uh, towed way out and, and, and flat. Spencer was having a good day. Yes, Qualified he was. 12th. It was running in the 15th position when this happened. Look at the right of your screen. And just... Yeah, he cut a tire. Yep. You see the thing just turn right all of a sudden, right in the middle of the corner. This is where the car, you're on that right front going in. You're dragging the brake a little bit, floating it off into the corner. Uh, and the right front just goes down and he turns dead right uh, into the outside wall. And he was having a good day. I thought he had, was driving one of, one of his best races that I'd seen him run. Got an incident. The 23 is in Caution the wall. Here. Spencer no Gallagher here. has spun. Problem with no, the rear no, left, no, as no, you can no. see that. How did it occur? See if you can back up enough. Back Final up. corner. Well, this is earlier. This is in the inner loop. Inner loop. Aha. Uh -huh. That's how that tire got cut down. 14 of JJ Yaley. Yeah, and then you see, as you mentioned, earlier finally cut the left rear tire Spencer does a nice job looping it around but not making contact with the inner wall there backing the 48 it up. of Brennan Poole gets into Blake Cook he can't stop the spin and now contact behind them carnage coming out of turn five and this is not what Blake Cook needed one of the drivers on the bubble for the playoff and Spencer Gallagher's 23 also heavy contact Gallagher was having a, having a good day. Yeah, he certainly was. Of course, Blake Cook had had an outstanding the door by not being able to carry the speed. You can see here that the 48 car decided to stick his nose in there once again. That sent Blake Cook spinning. Poole escapes. Kennedy escapes. Yeah, I think Reed, piled into by Gallagher, had nowhere to go. Yeah, just nothing you can do. You can't see up there when you're going single file there and you're, you're just gassing up and you're trying to get through there. And this is what will happen then. He talked about those blind corners, and you're racing, right? Yeah, looked like Ben Kennedy got a little damage maybe to the door. I don't know that it got into the right rear tire for him. They'll have to check that probably. To the 16. And take a look at what happened way up the racetrack, uh, three wide. Yeah, that's three wide. It's just not going to work. And... There he is trying to be at the bottom, as you mentioned. He had already had the damage to the right rear. It just Denny Hamlin, one, two, three is around, goes to 23. All right, you're all right. We just got to come around here and get a set of tires. Spencer Gallagher around. I started wrecking. I checked up. I'm pretty sure Ben ran me over. Uh wow, drives in the corner in the 39 car. Got free in front of him, Ryan Sieg, and that he got tapped from behind. William Byron got by on the bottom. The 23 of Spencer Gallagher running the old Michael Waltrip throwback scheme. This is going to be another great shot of it right here. 23. And so Spencer Gallagher was running 12th as he got into the wall. By the way, that was spotter communication. Keep the fueler back. We'll send one mechanic over. We're listening into the spotter communication of the nine. Presented by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Take another look here. Sparks already flying was he was, as he was entering turn one. Yeah, it looks like he must have, might have run over something and had a right front tire going down there. Uh, I believe that's the, the biggest issue that he's got. 